Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create digital art gallery using Toy Game Library. By the end of this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a simple interactive program that displays your kids' art piece one by one and allowing you to navigate through each piece of art gallery with keyword inputs. You can use PY game library to display the image and handle user interactions. Let's get started. First, you have to import the libraries, uh, which are uh, help us to develop or build the art gallery uh, called PY game and OS. Those libraries are a beauty library in Python. Once you import the beauty libraries to a game and OS, then the next step is set up the display. And just set up the mode of the gallery, where is the size of the gallery, the art gallery, or the screen size of the art gallery. That is 800 by 600. And the next step is just uh, set the caption of the gallery or the title of the gallery. is our gallery. Okay, well, now I have finished setting up the display and the next step is just specify the parts of the uh, folders which containing the art image and uh, obtain the list of uh, images from the art directory. First, specify the path of the the, uh, the, uh, the files, the images, or the directory. Okay, this is the directory which contains a list of images. Uh, you don't uh, specify the paths of the file, but instead specify the path of the directory which contains a list of images that's going to display on the art gallery by the end of this program. Uh, and the next step is list the files inside that directory we specified here using os.list.dir function. And once we just list out the files inside the directory and we're going to obtain the files in this with png or jpg because the directory may contain different kinds of files but we want to display the images only uh, specifying or in this with png or jpg okay for every file having art files if that file in this with dot png or or the file f in this with dot jpg so ignoring the other uh, file extensions because we want to display the files in this with png or jpg on the art gallery because uh, our uh, goal is uh, developing the kids art gallery that going to uh, display uh, interactive images on the art gallery, okay? Once we have uh, finished uh, specifying the puzzles and setting up the displays of the art gallery, 
the next step is uh, uh, just load and display the images on the art gallery. First, let's specify the index, the current index of that image. By default, is uh, zero. Okay, in the initial index of the current the images, because here I have listed out the images which contains PNG or uh, JPG. So I have just specified the current alt indexes from the list, and I can also uh, define running through, uh, and I'm going to use while loop while uh, running is true. And I'm going to iterate for uh, over the events that uh, happened for every event in UI game. Uh, dot event dot get if in this case if the event dot type which obtains from uh, using pay game the event dot type is equals to your game dot quite if it is quite, so the running become false. Okay. And the loop going to end it up because the running become false means uh, that's the QI uh, or the gallery, that gallery is quieted or exited. So uh, nothing is displayed. Otherwise, If the event dot type is, uh, we can use get uh, key down. This is the key down. Uh, actually, you can uh, press the arrow keys from your keyboard. So the key down is the down arrow key from your keyboard, and if the event type is key down, uh, which means if uh, from down arrow key uh, keys from your keyboard, there are uh, right and left arrow keys. From that event, we also specify the key type. So it's Key type key is left or right key. If the key type is left key from uh, uh, down key, when you are pressing on the uh, down key arrow from your keyboard, and if from that down key arrow, the key type is right or left. In this case, I have just uh, performed the condition that the event key uh, dot key is equal to the left key. Uh, the current index, art index, gonna be just subtract from the current art index by one and modulus to the lane of the art files, the art files, which means the total number of uh, files in the uh, list we obtained from that directory. And the current index can be uh, changed to this. Otherwise, which means a leaf event dot key, the press, the key pressed from your keyboard is not left key, or which means it is right key. Key is right. 
and the current art index would be uh, not subtracting one from the current art index. And instead, we up, uh, just add one to the current art index and modulus to the total number of art files or images in the art files, okay? Okay, now I have just done that uh, evaluating uh, the condition, uh, either the event is quiet or the event is uh, key down, or uh, from that key down, the event is uh, left key or right key. Once we perform this condition, uh, the next is uh, just uh, fill out the uh, colors screen dot fill that is two five five that is RGB two five five and the next uh, is let's find the current pass the current art pass. We use os.pass.join, which means joining the art from the current art pass, the file is in the current art pass using join method art files. Art index, current art index, because the art index is already specified. If the current art by default it is zero, which is the first uh, file in the file, the art file is the first image. Uh, if we iterate over each, and when you are pressing the second uh, uh, key or arrow key, which means it's just uh, either uh, goes to the left, which means subtracting one, it goes to the last. For example, if you are currently in the first image and you are pressing to the left arrow key from keyboard, it just uh, jump to the last image because the current art index is zero and we subtract uh, one from that uh, zero, which means uh, negative one. Index negative one means the last image in the, or the last element in the list. And we mod, uh, modulus to the total number of uh, uh, images in the art files. That could be uh, the art image here. We just specify the folder, okay? Now, once we join, because the file uh, can be uh, displayed from the that uh, path, each file can be displayed from that path and uh, finally it's gonna be displayed on the art gallery we're going to build. Okay, the next is art image. So I can dot image. Sorry, image dot load. Load that the current art pass because here we just uh, appended or joined the the passes of that gallery and the specific a single file uh, by slicing using current art index from art files. Then we load that file on the pygame.image. And we pass our current art pass to that uh, image. And finally, we call screen dot dot lin. Okay. Now. 
screen here. It is single R. Okay. Finally, we just call again dot display to display that, and we use flip. And the last is we just call to a game dot write function write that. Okay, now I've just finished this art gallery, and the next step is uh, going to run and let's see the images by pressing the keys. Now, as you can see on the screen, the art gallery is displayed, this art gallery, and the images from that directory is displayed. You can press the key down arrow from your keyboard to see the next image. Uh, for example, I, I, I just pressed the right key arrow and it's just add uh, one to the current uh, index, art index and modulus to the total length of the files in the current directory. Hey, look like this. You can see and you can use left array key and right arrow key and this you can display uh, the art gallery and you can develop your own art galleries using POI game library in Python. I hope you enjoyed in this video tutorial and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching today.